Good morning. I've uh, been up for a little bit doing some stuff and I um, remembered something pretty cool that I want to share with you uh, for a minute. And it's called uh, Effective Blaming, a tool that I learned from Tony. Uh, I saw from a, a video. It's pretty cool and I've used it in my life and I've used it with other people. And uh, it's the uh, action that people get and being able to see um, what it does uh, is pretty cool. So Effective Blaming is you know sometimes uh, the first thing we want to do is blame somebody else or blame an event or blame ourselves for um, you know something that happened it's much easier to blame uh, somebody else or an event uh, rather than you know take the responsibility and you know maybe something did happen uh, traumatic to you that somebody else did to you but um, you know when we blame somebody uh, we have to blame them for everything that they did wrong and then we have to blame for everything that they did right or things that they did that was pretty helpful so for an example of uh, say you're a kid uh, and you were abused growing up you know you can blame your your dad or your mom uh, for what they did to you but effective blaming is then you also have to blame them for you know uh, making you uh, thick skin, strong willed, and you have to blame them for, uh, uh, you know, becoming that strong person that you have become, and you have to blame them for, uh, because they weren't there, that you learn how to, you know, rely on yourself and uh, to help other people. You have to blame them for, you know, the food that they did put on the table and that you were able to eat despite the the abuse that you got. You do have to blame them for. Uh, you know, having presents under the Christmas tree or clothes on your back um, or being able to get to school or um, you have to blame them for uh, everything that's amazing about you right now. Uh, so when you do feel like blaming somebody and, you know, thinking, oh, this sucks, I hate this person for doing this to me or I hate this event for happening, um, you have to blame what, what good things came from it. Um, there's always good... Uh, that comes from uh, from any virtually any experience that you go through. So, uh, as Tony says, um, what's wrong is always available, but so is what's right. Uh, what's right with your life, you know. So, uh, the next time you want to blame, uh, I'm not saying blame is good or bad, but if you're gonna do it, be a champ and uh, be an effective blamer. Um, it's helped for me. I had a lot of uh, a lot of um, years of like anger and. And, and tough questions I couldn't answer about things that happened to me and me growing up. And then when I did effective blaming, you know, I was like, hey, you know what? It, it, all, it all worked out. I'm actually a lot stronger and a lot better because of the things happened, uh, even though they were pretty painful. And, uh, and, and I was in the dark for a lot of years. But uh, effective blaming, baby, is powerful stuff. So um, try it out. Try it out. You know, who, who are you blaming for something? for the way you are, for whatever happened, you know, blame them for the good stuff that happened as well. Cool. So until next time, thanks.